नमस्ते यू आर वाचिंग स्पॉटलाइट आई एम मुमताज वी ऑल नो चाचा नेहरू ही लवड किड्स एंड ऑलवेज हैड अ रोज इन हिज पॉकेट दिस इज अ फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स टू एवरीबडीज माइंड व्हेन वी हियर हिज नेम बट मेनी ऑफ अस डू नॉट नो सो मेनी डिटेल्स एंड स्टोरीज अबाउट हिम आई एम श्योर दैट द मेजोरिटी ऑफ इंडिया doesn't know that he did not become prime minister by using fair ways now you may ask how i say this i say this because i have proof i have read history and i know the facts behind the story in 1946 an election was held to elect the president of congress and it was decided that whoever becomes the president that person will be the first prime minister of india including sardar vallabhbhai patel and nehru there were many people who wanted to contest the election there were 15 regional committees to vote for the election of the congress president out of this three committees backed off from voting and the rest 12 had expressed their willingness to vote for sardar vallabhbhai patel If everything had gone in the fair way Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel would have become the first prime minister of India but the fate had some other plans for India Mahatma Gandhi approached Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel and asked him to not to contest the election The reason given by Gandhi ji was surprising and shocking He told Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel that Nehru would be hurt if he doesn't become the president of the party. Isn't it shocking? Due to the respect Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel had for Gandhi ji, he graciously accepted his request and stepped away from the elections. And Jawaharlal Nehru ended up becoming the first prime minister of India. This was the first blunder by Nehru that made India suffer. The second blunder, the partition of India and Pakistan. Look at the Akhand Bharat. The magnificent view of it makes one proud. But it did not mean much for Nehru it seems. He was obsessed with the power. All that mattered to him was the prime minister's post. After Second World War the British had to leave India had Nehru acted patiently during their exit from India the future would have been different but unfortunately he did not go in the interest of people and Pakistan was born an ever troubling neighbor blunder number 3 after India's independence Nizam of Hyderabad decides to join Pakistan and shockingly nehru agrees to it without posing any rejection and objection just imagine what would have happened if hyderabad had joined with pakistan we would have had one more kashmir kind of issue in the south but fortunately it did not happen thanks to sardar vallabhbhai patel and salute his operation polo hyderabad became a part of india blunder number 4 the kashmir issue the attack was initiated from that side and indian soldiers strongly responded to them had pm nehru let soldiers continue the action kashmir would have become part of india but again nehru had his own plans and announced that india would go to the un to resolve the matter and turned it into an international issue along with it he made the matter more complex by giving special status to kashmir through article 370 we are dealing with this issue even today prime minister narendra modi ji had to assume the power to abrogate article 370 those significant measures have been taken the matter still bothers india blunder number 5 In 1948 the king of Balochistan expresses his wish to join India but Nehru does not agree with it Afterwards Pakistan attacked Balochistan and takes it under their control 
geographically baluchistan could have been an important part of india it is 40% of pakistan and consists of 60% of their natural wealth nehru did not consider any of this and let go of baluchistan what can be more tragedy than this blunder number 6 rejection of gwadar seaport by nehru the important port belonged to the sultan of oman back then He wanted to gift it to India and made the offer several times as well. But Nehru, who wasn't aware of the advantages it could offer in terms of military and business, rejected it. And the Sultan of Oman ended up selling it to Pakistan. Today, China has deployed its army there and Pakistan is using the port to its advantage. and for india it has become a complex issue the nation could have dealt with pakistan even more easily if nehru had accepted gwadar seaport the list doesn't end here i can go on and on explaining the blunders the person whose only obsession was the prime minister's post ended up making a lot of mistakes that to bother india even after 75 years of independence tv vikrama national bharat bhagya vidata subscribe tv vikrama national and don't forget to click bell icon button and select all notification